Hi everybody on YouTube, it's Rainstorm and I got my new reverse osmosis system and that's been plumbed in now and there's the new tap um, and what you have is under the there's another reservoir under the sink but that's what stores your, your, your water for the, the meanwhile and then what you'll see is I'm filling up this barrel at the moment um, and if you watched the video the other day you remember when I put my uh, meter in it said 0 0.2 well now it's down to 0 um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the Britax filter thing um, was the fact that it does take a little bit of lime scale out, don't get me wrong, it does take a little bit out but if you, because my reverse osmosis hasn't been working for about two or three months if you look at the kettle this is just using a regular water filter and obviously replacing them when they need replacing and what you'll notice is all the lime scale around here and all that lime scale around the bottom and then in here there's I mean it's clean, don't you? if you just use tap water that would be proper furry but what I'll do is after uh, say three or four weeks what will happen is the uh, reverse osmosis water will clean the kettle up and that will be shiny in there um, so that's sort of uh, answering a few questions about the filter thing the other thing people were saying was um, why, can't, why can't you wash with the water and uh, well obviously you can wash with it it's just um, people use these systems because it's a pressurized system instead of having a tap you could have a shower head on there so if you wanted to wash and have showers that's fine and you'd have to heat the water you could use it for that's that's not a problem the problem is it, it produces say 200 liters a day well if you want to have a bath you know say if two people want to have a bath it's not going to produce enough water but if you've got you know, in dire situations, yes, of course you can wash with it, and you would just uh, attach a shower head to here, um, and because it's pressurized, it would force it through uh, the shower head. Also, on these pressurized uh, pressurized vessels, what you have is at the bottom is a shredder valve, a push bike, yeah, you know, like you get on your push bike or on your car tire, and you can adjust the pressure inside because this has a membrane in it. It will store the water under pressure. So if you want higher pressure. You just put, uh, you just adjust the pressure in the, the bottom because it's a pressure vessel. So if you were needed to use it for a shower and you needed a bit more pressure to force it through the head, you can just adjust it there. Um, okay, so this is the reverse osmosis system. It's actually running at the moment. It's not very loud at all. Um, it's quieter than an air pump for an aquarium. So it's not loud at all, and what happens is, as soon as this tank is full, um, it has pressure valves in here, and it has a little computer here, and it would just switch off the, uh, the pump when this is full, and it just switches everything off, and then when you obviously use the tap, um, the pressure will drop, it will pick up on the pressure drop, and then it will turn the pump back on, fill your tank back up. Um, so it's really quite simple, and to install it is literally you just need one pipe to go into your drain you need an a inlet so you need a main water pressure feed where you could use rain water um, I have discovered the um, input water doesn't have to be under pressure so if you were collecting rain water it will actually suck it out of a reservoir um, so that's something to bear in mind you don't actually have to have pressure on the input and then the output is just the tap so it's not too bad. The other thing is if you're going to use one of these, um, this one was £110 and then it was £10 postage um, So and it was from eBay and it has the parts per million meter here. You probably can't see it because it's a bit dark but it has a display there um, telling you how many parts per million uh, is in the water. Um, yeah, so if you're ever going to buy one of these and you're putting it together, you have to put lots of Vaseline on, on these threads because it's high pressure system and even though they've got rubber seals in there it, you'll get like little you know high pressure squirt of water out here so that's something to bear in mind so liberally put Vaseline on it um, but obviously make sure it doesn't go in the filters um, so yeah that was my uh, 
quick update and answering some questions that people were answering, uh, asking me. Also, the other thing were people were saying about salts. It's not necessarily um, salt as in table salt. It's salts as in mineral salts and all sorts of things and contaminants. It's just a general word, salts. Um, so just stuff in the water would be an easier thing to say. Um, so yeah, this is Rainstorm's blog today about the new uh, reverse osmosis system. And yeah, very, very happy with it. You know, and this is, uh, will produce clean water for you and your family, um, regardless of any situation, if you're worried about any, anything. You know, you can collect rainwater, run it through that, and you'll have with drinking water. And I forget how powerful the pump is. It's a 12-volt pump. I think it's 50 watt or something. So, you know, you could run this solar or a wind turbine. It's not a lot of power. Um, so, yeah. Okay, then. This is Rainstorm signing off. You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sound, but of mind. Is it not a new world? Otherwise, it is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned the ripping imprint on the pages of history since the beginning of time. time, 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 time.